In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a pivot table to count values in Google Sheets. So when you use pivot tables to summarize data, most often by default, it's going to be set up to some values, but you can change this summarize by setting in the pivot table editor pretty easily to set it to a count if you want to count values instead of returning a sum. So to show you that, I have this example data here where I have orders and sales for various items. And what I'm gonna end up doing is I wanna return a count of the number of orders that contained each of these items. So first, what I'm going to do is actually create the pivot table by highlighting my data, data, and then we're gonna to go to pivot table. I'm gonna have it created on a new sheet and select create. And then what I'm going to do is start filling it out. So I'm going to add item and then I'm going to add sales because what I want to view is the sales. So as you can see now, this is set up to the sum of sales. I don't really want sum. I want count. So there's a couple ways we can actually get the count of each item. So we can change it in the summarize by setting here. This might be the best method depending on what kind of data you're looking at. So you have all of these options here. You have sum, count A, count, count unique, average, max, min, median, product, standard deviation, and a few others at the bottom. So if you just want to return a count, you can either do count A or count, depending on your data. I will just return count. And you can see now it changed up here. Instead of summarizing by sum, it is now count. So let's just take a look at this. So this is saying hat. I had two lines in my sheet, which means there was two orders for a hat. So let's see if I can verify that. So here's one and here's two. So that is showing correctly. Now that is one way to get count if you're trying to get a count of a value. The other way is that the row that you set up, so I set up this row with item, you can also in values use that same that same column and usually it'll be default set up to either count or count a so you can see this basically did the same thing i now have my item in row and my value is also item so it returns a count so that is another way to get count in your pivot table depending on what kind of data you are looking up and again um, you have a lot of other options for the different kinds of data you can summarize by. So this is where the setting is in the pivot table. Um, it's pretty useful to know all of these different options if you are going to regularly use pivot tables in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.